What's up guys? It's a Swingman here back with another upload. Today I'm just gonna go over uh, you know my trip to Orlando. Uh, basically last week we had our our kickoff meeting for World Long Drive as well as the PGA show which was my first time ever going to the show and uh, it was just an, an awesome week. So starting off the first day um, we had our, our kickoff meeting. There's a lot of cool new uh, rules now with World Long Drive, a lot of things they're implementing. It's gonna be uh, a lot of good changes in my opinion. Uh, some of the most notable ones, uh, basically last year, what they did is a eight ball, um, eight ball round. So you get three minutes to hit eight drives. And basically what they did is they uh, decreased that number to six drives now which is interesting and now it's two and a half minutes so the all the qualifying rounds and stuff like that they're gonna be a little quicker because of it and uh, also you got to be more accurate because you get two less swings so you uh, you don't have as many balls to you know to hammer away and and try to get one of them in so it is gonna in my opinion it's gonna help balance the sport out a little bit and um, and help keep guys into the, in the grid more often. Also, a big change is the golf ball. So last year they used the the Volvic uh, golf ball with the matte finish, and this year it's going to be switching over to the Top Flight Bomb. The cool thing about this move is the Top Flight Bomb. The actual World Long Drive ball is going to be sold at every Dick Sporting Goods um, in its own World Long Drive uh, custom casing. So it's going to be pretty cool. And it's going to be a fairly cheap golf ball from what I heard, but we'll have to see what the the finalized price is when they get into stores. So you'll see it in a big orange box, and there'll be uh, Colton Castro, one of the long drivers, is on the cover of it, which is pretty neat as well. So also they announced the schedule, with, which I will be posting on this channel once they solidify the first event. So they're just trying to finalize some things, and then... Uh, and then we'll have the complete date and the tour event schedule. So um, so that's uh, pretty neat. We got to get all that information. Worlds this year is going to be in Chicago, which is interesting, the Windy City. So there's going to be an actual world long drive grid that's going to be built specifically for this sport, which is amazing. So a lot of the events are held on, you know, a par five or something where there's there might be a, a couple of hills or something on one of the sides and you might get a good kick. So this is gonna make it completely flat. It's gonna make it a, a nice straight target line for us. So it's gonna be it's gonna be exciting to see what it what it turns out to be once it's finalized and, and uh, completed. So those are some of the, the big changes. There are there are several other ones. Um, which I will be going over in another video, but uh, those are the ones that I think are, are the most exciting and uh, it's gonna affect us as hitters uh, more directly than, than any of the other changes. So uh, moving on as far as uh, after the, the meeting, we had the club demo day. So that's what these clips are from. And uh, basically this was awesome. So basically what they did is you had uh, about a 420 yard circle and all of these vendors just go on the outside of the circle and have these driving mats set up and you just basically test their clubs and you hit across the circle to the other side. So it's that's all you're doing is just walking around a circle, grabbing the clubs and just ripping bombs at least <laughs> that's what i was doing so uh, but for people there that were looking you know to test out the new equipment new technology you know they're able to test out all the new stuff which was which was really cool and for me you know i'm not a big time golfer you know i'm probably going to get more and more into golf throughout the years but uh but i did get to test out a lot of the new drivers and stuff and and uh it was it was a really neat experience uh to do that so uh, from the club demo day, uh, they had the PGA show. So at the PGA show, I've been posting some videos on my Instagram. Me at the the indoor uh, convention center, hitting off of the simulators. And uh, basically, my goal there when I went to the PGA show, obviously, I'm not really shopping around for equipment, uh, but more so just networking, just trying to meet people involved in the sport and. Uh, 
and spend time with, with a lot of the guys I'm competing with. And I say with when I'm competing, even though, yeah, we're, we're competing against each other, but in all honesty, the World Long Drive community is like a big family. We're all, you know, there to obviously compete, make money, but uh, we're also there to make the sport grow and do what we can to just, to make it more streamlined. So, you know, you, you can see us here, we're all just riding these, uh, these bikes around which were pretty neat but uh but this is kind of the fun we have outside of the sport we're always just hanging out and joking around and it's actually a, it's what i compare it to is you know a real close-knit group um baseball team um that i would find myself you know playing for and it's always cool to see these guys and spend spend good time with them uh, this one's actually this is bobby peterson this is cal berkshire's coach as well as there's several other guys in long drive uh that he coaches he's he's pretty amazing at what he does but <laughs> we got him to hop on one of these scooters and and rip around but uh but yeah so uh like I said, as far as the convention center, I uh, basically did exactly what I went there for, which was rip golf balls and talk to people. So I ended up talking with several companies and my swing felt great. So it was really easy for me to strike up conversations with people because a lot of people were very curious about my swing and you know where I came from and and for me, because I've only been involved with the sport for five months, I've never been on television yet. Um, it was new for a lot of people. So I had a lot of traffic come in through my Instagram page and my, uh, you know, my YouTube channel. And it was, uh, it was really good for, for everything I got going on. So with these companies I am talking to, everything's kind of in the works right now. So as soon as things start getting solidified... I will be announcing it because I'm really excited to announce, you know, who I'm going to be working with this year, um, as well as uh, just plans moving forward, getting ready for my first full season of World Long Drive. So uh, one cool highlight I posted on my Instagram is this ball right here that I hit. Now, the full swing simulator we're hitting off of was reading a little high uh, in all of our opinions, but... Uh, that being said, the guys I'm hitting against are consistent 220 ball speed guys, you know, with Martin Borgmeyer and Troy Teal. So putting up the same, you know, 231 on this simulator as Troy Teal did here. Martin did hit 234 in one of his swings, which I didn't get on camera. But being on par with these guys with ball speed was such a big confidence booster for me because last year when I competed, I had no training involved and i was able to get myself into the top 16 at the tour event and then the top 32 at worlds so it was uh it was cool after training for a couple months and being able to to hit side by side with these guys to see where i lie and uh and i was actually pretty impressed with what i was able to do because i really had no idea uh comparing to these guys on the same simulators so um, that was that was really neat for me. It, it got me even more excited to train even harder, which is you know excite me right now. I'm about to head to the range and get some work in. But like I said, a lot more things to announce coming from this show. I want to give you guys uh, just a little briefing of what I went through when I was down in Orlando. But I am back at home now. Uh, I will be getting fitted for a driver with Bobby Peterson. Uh, next weekend and I'm really excited about that and I'll fill you guys in when uh, when that's all done as well so I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you haven't already hit the like button and subscribe this right here is Kanani Lodge look her up on Instagram at Kanani Lodge I'll leave her link in the description go follow her too she's gonna be a huge hit in the sport so thanks for watching guys <laughs> oh my god.